at Baldono uh, as an alternative to Dublin? Uh, briefly, no, it's not because the runway is too short. And Baldon, but Baldonnel would be a very useful. I mean, one of the ways you could create additional space at Dublin Airport would you move the private aircraft to Baldonnel. And it would uh, Baldonnel because it's close to the M50 would be equally accessible. So you could move the Microsoft private jet and all the other American private jets could readily move there. Could cargo uh, go there? Pardon me? Could cargo can't. It hasn't got the capacity. Like there, it's, it's, quite a sh it's a shortish runway and it hasn't got much facilities. But you could certainly, but that's not ultimately a solution. Uh, Tony Ryan back in the day had this idea we, you know, we'd, uh, we would buy and, private, you know, and build and uh, grow at Bala. It was never really a viable solution. And I, it, it, it is there. It might, I mean, I think, and certainly our Air Force would be better off, serve, and the government. I mean, I, I do think it's a disgrace, but I understand the political reality of the government. This government should have two or three private jets. I think it's a, a, a disgrace. We, we do not send ministers or our Taoiseach around when he's going to European subs. He's not arriving on some kind of state aircraft. And this messing around or leasing in aircraft, you know, we are wasting lots of taxpayers' money, and we should grow up. And if the, uh, you know, if the Taoiseach or the Taunish uh, need to get somewhere uh, to a meeting, uh, the use of their, the time saving on a private jet would be more than justified. And this idea that, you know, for political, we don't want to be seen getting on a private jet is a nonsense. And, you know, we've a couple of old tatty Lear jets that are always breaking down. The government should go and spend 20 or 30 million, buy a proper private jet. And if the Taoiseach or the Taunish need to go to meetings, then that's what we should use it for. And the military and the Air Force will operate all that. I think one of the biggest challenges, but just to come back on the other issue, if you look at, I mean, one of the challenges that's facing this country over the next decade, our population is going to grow from five to six million. You know, we are now, we are, there is net immigration of, of something of 100,000 a year. We have a strong economy. We are, uh, and if we don't have net inward immigration, we will not have people to staff our hospitals, to do many of the uh, the, the labour jobs, uh, agricultural jobs, and you know, if you start now and say that in 2035 or 2040 the population of this country is going to be six six point five million people, what do we need to do? We need to build more housing. To be fair, and you know, I, I'm not in a political sense. The government is getting on top of the housing. But what they're not getting on top of, we're building all the housing outside the M50. How are they going to get in and out of town? There is objections to petrol cars and diesel cars for the emissions. But by the early 2030s, most of the car, the car fleet will be electric. And yet, but we are strangling Dublin uh, with cycle lanes and artificial sort of nonsensical uh, restrictions on car movements. What we should be doing is building car parks in the centre of town for these electrified cars so that people can move easily in and out of our the, the, the centre of our city. We should be fixing planning now for a motorway around uh, the M50 and M75. Um, and we should be putting in place that kind of infrastructure. And Dublin Airport is part of that. We will have 50 million passengers a year at Dublin Airport by about 2035 or 2040. We will have a booming tourism industry. We will have Swords will be a much bigger, wealthier town and community because Dublin Airport will continue to be the engine of that. And all of that needs to be done in an environmentally sustainable and noise uh, efficient way. But we're not, and I think the problem is we have a Minister for Transport. We should have a Minister for Infrastructure uh, in the next government. It should be somebody, we do not plan well the next 10 years. I mean, the location of the Children's Hospital is a disgrace. It should be on the M50. Uh, the way we have burned through two and three billion quid building what is a reasonably straightforward children's hospital is a disgrace because we don't do infrastructure properly. And instead of having a kind of a ministry of transport, communications, whatever else you're having yourself, we should have a ministry for infrastructure that sets out 10-year plans, 15-year plans, making assumptions on what our population will be and how we get from here to there over that 10 or 15 year. And then we wouldn't have issues like the DAA or the badly designed and ridiculously uh, delivered children's hospital. I would hope we would have much more effective uh, delivery of infrastructure. But we don't do infrastructure well because we don't focus on infrastructure gets divided between five or six different departments.